In July of 2010, Angela McMahon, then the coach of the UConn women's lacrosse team, was offered a coaching job at UMass Amherst. Uh, shortly after uh, the previous head coach, Alex Benachanos, um, accepted the head coaching job at Ohio State, um, you know, I got a call, uh, you know, just gauging interest. For McMahon, a Weston native who had played for UMass for a year and been an associate head coach for two, the decision was easy. Having been here not only as a player but also as a coach and um, my familiarity with the program, the area, um, my husband coaching at Amherst College, um, all of those really um, aspects that entice me to uh, think about returning. So McMahon decided to take the job and return to UMass. But when she came over, two players she had recruited at UConn, Kelsey McGovern and Katie Ferris, decided to follow her to her new school. Um, I really believed in her coaching style and her the way she ran her team at UConn and I felt that it was a great fit to just come with her over to UMass. It was a pretty easy decision. I was really looking for someone that was going to push me to get the most out of me and I thought she was really going to do that and she was going to, she wasn't going to mold me into someone I wasn't, you know, she was really going to like bring the best out of me and that's really what I was looking for. While Ferris and McGovern were happy to have a great new coach, McMahon was happy to have two great new players. It was it was great, and it, you know I'm extremely thankful to them for doing that and sort of believing in me and my vision. But also, um, you know, finding you know, even though they had decided to go to a school, I, I think both of them really found their way here, and this ended up being a fantastic fit and opportunity for them here. So, um, you know, in the end, I think it worked out on both sides of it, obviously, for, you know, me as a coach, but also them as players. Over her first three seasons at UMass, McMahon led the Minute Women to a 54-8 overall record and a perfect 27-0 in Atlantic 10 Conference play, including three conference championships. In 2013, McMahon guided the team to its first victory in an NCAA tournament game since 1984, defeating her former UConn team in the first round. So just what kind of coach is Angela McMahon to create such success in her team? She's very laid back and relaxed and she doesn't yell much, you know, usually always in a good mood. Practices are fun. She keeps everything light. She just, she makes coming to practice not miserable. She's someone that will tell you if you're doing something wrong. Um, she's very blunt um, at times, but she also cares really deeply about her program and us as players and individuals, so that definitely has shown on the field. Over their time at UMass, Ferris and McGovern have developed into two of the Minute Women's best players. Ferris has become one of the team's greatest offensive players of all time, holding the school records for career points career goals, career assists, single season points, and single season assists. But starting out, Ferris wasn't such a great overall threat. My freshman year, I was just a shooter. She really pushed me to like become more balanced and, you know, an assister and, you know, a leader on offense. She just keeps pushing me to not settle. I think when she was in high school, maybe I could count across four years, maybe 10, 15 assists total across four years. Um, and to see the numbers that she has in the assists, she's making people around her better and um, therefore helping our team be better. Meanwhile, McGovern has established herself as one of the best draw takers in team history, holding team records for career draw controls and single season draw controls. She has also developed into a core member of a defensive unit that consistently ranks among the best in the nation. She's had a little bit of a different, you know, experience in that she started off um, as a midfielder and switched over to defense towards the end of her freshman year. Um, so I think her gaining, you know, more knowledge and skill in that area has really um, been a huge aspect of, you know, our defense improving and growing to where it is now. But the players have not only gotten to know McMahon as a coach, They've also gotten to know her as the wife of Justin Serpone, the head coach of men's soccer at Amherst College, and the mother of her two kids, Lily and Tyson. She doesn't have like a split, you know, lifestyle. She really implements her 
family and her children, you know, with us. And I think that's something that's really important. And um, it's allowed us to have a, you know, bigger bond with her and within our team. You know, it's it's something that I think the girls really enjoy being a part of is that family aspect of things and, you know, coming over to our house for dinner and also getting to know Justin's team over at Amherst and um, sort of, you know, you bring two families into one and sort of the more the merrier for us um, when we've had, you know, 80 people over our house that we've had to feed. Now that the 2014 season is almost over, Ferris, McGovern, and the rest of the team seniors will soon be getting ready to leave UMass and the team they've played for for the past four years. As the first class that has been with her since its freshman year, this group has a special meaning to McMahon. It's definitely, you know, sad, but also it, it's, it's bittersweet because, you know, we're, we're graduating them, but they're all moving on to, you know, something else and, you know, just the way I've seen them grow and mature, every single one of them as individuals has been amazing, but also what they've been able to do um, here in their time. Again, it's, you know, we see it all the time. It's record setting and everything that they do. And they're one of the best classes in, in the history of the program. And, um, you know, I just want this season to continue on as long as possible so that we can stay together and continuing to improve um, every single day and hopefully we stay together. And for the seniors themselves, the feeling of leaving is also bittersweet. Um, I think I feel a little bit sad. You know, I've known her for, I feel like, a long time and I've built, you know, continued to build such a great relationship with her and with my teammates. Um, but I'm confident to leave, you know, on a high note, hopefully, with this team and confident that the younger girls and people below me, as well as, you know, even my coaching staff, you know, will be able to continue to, um, you know, drive success within our team and, you know, win games. But the lacrosse story will not end for many of the seniors at the end of this season. Ferris plans to pursue a career in coaching after graduating. McGovern plans to be an assistant coach for a couple years before going to grad school. Tanner Guarino will be coaching her own club team. Shannon DeFelice will be a graduate assistant. And Kelsey Sheridan also plans on staying involved in lacrosse. For McMahon, Hearing that her players will pursue paths similar to hers is an honor. I think it's great. I mean, I think that, you know, hopefully it's a reflection of their experience here and, um, you know, hopefully they've learned a lot from it so that then they can go out and, and teach it and give um, other players those opportunities to enjoy and love what they do and, you know, and challenge them along the way. <laughs> For DailyCollegian.com, I'm Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. Oh, <laughs>